Hi. Today we're going to be in the Rattlesnake Hills AVA, which is a smaller subset of the Yakima AVA inside the larger Columbia Valley AVA in Washington. We're going to be going to a place called Cultura Wines, and we're going to be there and we're going to taste some really great reds, because reds are all they do. You're going to have a lot of fun here. You're going to really enjoy it. Come on, let's see how it goes. The Rattlesnake Hills AVA is an American viticultural area located in Yakima County, Washington. The Rattlesnake Hills AVA is entirely contained within the Yakima Valley AVA, which is in turn entirely contained within the larger Columbia Valley AVA. The region was awarded Rattlesnake Hills Appalachian status on March 20th, 2006, making it Washington's ninth federally recognized American viticultural area. The AVA is centered on the city of Zilla, with elevations ranging from 850 feet to 3,085 feet. This AVA contains the highest point in the Yakima Valley AVA. Grapes commonly grown in the Rattlesnake AVA include Cabernet Franc, Cabernet Sauvignon, Chardonnay, Chenin Blanc, Gewürztraminer, Grenache, Malbec, Merlot, Mouvedre, Muscat Canelli, Petit Syrah, Riesling, Semillon, and Viognier. Today, there are 17 wineries in this small AVA. I drove from Zilla through the Rattlesnake Hills until I got to Cultura Wines. Tad and Sarah Fuel grew up in the Yakima Valley. Sarah's great-grandfather planted the pear orchard that has been in her family for the last 100 plus years. Tad grew up working on his family's orchards in Zilla, Washington. Sarah was formerly a tasting room manager. She also worked as a cellar rat. Meanwhile, Tad tended the soil, planting a few acres of Cabernet Franc and experimenting with old European style pruning techniques on an acre of Zinfandel a rarity in the Yakima Valley AVA. Cultura released its first vintage in 2005, producing about 180 cases. By 2019, they were up to 1,000 cases a year. Their hands-on, old-world approach is reflected in every bottle. The interesting thing about Cultura is they are relatively small, around 1,000 or plus cases in a big year. Their goal is not to be a big winery. Small and focused is their goal. Also, they only produce red wines, and they do them very well. If you like red wines, this is the place to be on your list of wineries that are go-to. I met Tad at the winery, and he led me to a beautiful outdoor garden for my tasting. The first one I tasted was the Cultura Merlot. Merlot placed the Washington State wine industry on the map back in the 1970s. Small production, probably about 125 cases at this winery. The color of this wine is garnet, lots of deep cherry, some floral notes, a little wet slate. This is a big, deep Merlot, super concentrated, very, very good. The next wine was the Cultura Kairos. This wine is a blend of 50% Merlot and 50% Cabernet Franc. This comes from the ID and Sunridge and Fuel Vineyards. They made about 150 cases. Cultura has been making this wine since they started in the Washington wine industry in 2005. This wine is made in the regional French saint moyen style with the Cabernet Franc and the Merlot blend, rich, luscious, super concentrated, very impressive. I'm going to let Tad talk about his wine first. Tad Fuel, Cultura Winery. I want to talk a little bit about our Cab Franc. Uh, we only had five open today and it's all reds, but Cab Franc just seems to be one that people ask about because they're not usually used to seeing a pure Cab Franc. They see it in blends or don't even know it's in their blends. Um, 
what I found is it's really fun to pour somebody up here to have prunk that's grown in the hot, dry climate out here. Um, and then just talk about it and try to help them understand why they like it so much, I guess. But uh, <laughs> it's just, it's one that I had my red wine epiphany on. Always stayed with it. Um, yes, Yakima's growing all these other different beautiful varietals, but uh, sometimes old schools just never gets old. Okay. This is 100% estate Cabernet Franc from the Fuel Family Estate Vineyard. Barrel aged for two plus years in a blend of new French oak and neutral barrels. They made maybe only about 173 cases in this particular uh, vintage. I love Yakima Cab Frogs, and this one is no exception. In fact, this one might have been my favorite. This is a big, dark, fruit forward Cab Franc. Big tannins, great complexity, balance, super, super impressive wine. One of my absolute favorites. Cultura Kronos is 50% Cabernet Sauvignon, 15% Merlot, and 35% Cabernet Franc. The fruit in here is from the Sunridge Vineyards, the ID Vineyards, and the Fuel Estate Vineyards. They made approximately 235 cases of this. A traditional Bordeaux style three vineyard blend sourced from the expanse of the Yakima Valley terroir. Big stew of dark fruits, hints of dark cherry, blueberry, black currant, black var, uh, just a fantastic wine. Cultura Estate Zinfandel, 100% Zinfandel from the Fuel Family Estate Vineyard. They made about 207 cases of this stuff. These estate vines were planted on a steep terraced hillside in 2006. According to the fuels, this wine receives hands-on attention throughout the entire winemaking process. Big, dark, rich red fruit up front with hints of citrus, uh, peppercorn, allspice. Really, really loved this wine. Another impressive red wine. I hope you had a lot of fun doing that. Tad and Sarah Fuel, can't thank them enough uh, for giving me the time of day. Uh, the wines were absolutely spectacular. You got to get out to Zilla. Some great, great wineries around there, and Cultura is definitely one of them. You got to try that Cabernet Franc, but all their wines are really great. This is a great, small, fun winery, and you got to check it out. We'll see you next time. Well, that's it for this edition of the Great American Winery Stroop Waffle. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you'll come back soon. And in the meantime, drink local.